first Ajahn kids and welcome to this YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do a asymmetrical choreo with breakdown, no music. I will not be able to do it with Andro because he's injured. So if you want to see some of these, his videos, don't forget to do it on this YouTube channel. So I'm going to do it without no music so you can see my foot and my leg work. And you can see really. Uh, how can I? How can you do it with your clients? Okay, I'm going to start just two baby mambo stomps here. Okay, and then I'm over. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that I have this, I'm going to just open a little bit. So we're going to do a V step. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that I have this, now I'm going to add just my leg here backwards. Okay? So watch carefully. Here I'm going to add my leg backwards and I'm going to do just the baby number here. And then I'm over, I'm going to complete it with my counts. So from the top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, in one, two, and complete it with the counts. Okay, you have two, so you need to complete with six counts. One more time, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that I have this, I'm going to add my movement, okay, which is going to be a knee, and then I'm going to just add a step knee. Okay, from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This knee is just going to change a little bit, and this one is, is the one that is the most important. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Complete it with the counts number four. Okay? Let's go one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So instead of just doing my knee here, okay, I'm going to do step or change with a V step. Okay? So it's you can do it, it if it's a metrical movement, you can do it really here. And then here, okay, and then you need to accelerate when you add the knee, okay? So I could do this if I'm here, I can do this, okay? I can do this and then this with the acceleration. But I really need to do my knee first of all, so you can see that there is going to be a little bit of change. One more time one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, and three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Now that I have this, I'm going to change a little bit. I'm going to add something here. So two, open, knee, step ball change. Here, tap back, march, march, tap, come back. Okay? So you have a tap, back, march on the step, and you have a tap, another here. Okay? One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really cool. Now I'm going to change. Look, my first step here is going to change. It's going to be a twist with a turn. And then I'm going to tap on the step one more time. Let's go. With the count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, one, two, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So instead of doing my tap, my second tap here, my second tap is going to be just on the floor. So I did it on the purpose here, I did it here on purpose, because I really, really, really want to people to have just this, okay? Because we don't have this with the turn, it's really easy to have a tap. Just after. Okay. Yes, from the top one more time and then changes. One, two, three, 
fingers. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two. So instead of doing just a tap, I'm going to do a ball change, ball change. Ball change, lift, ball change. Ball change, lift, ball change. Okay? So just here. Tarada, tarada. Okay, so this is uh, the first section. Then I'm going to just add here with the marches. Hop. Maybe mambo here. And that's all. Okay? From the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have eight counts to complete everything that I really need. Okay? Cool for you? I'm going to start from the top one more time and then I'm going to isolate a little bit my movement. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Baby mambo. This step. Seven, eight. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's put aside the first part, just concentrate on the last part. Okay, so I have this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, five. Six, seven, eight. Just rest a little bit on the step, and then you're going to change this. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Don't worry. I'm going to change it so you will have the number of the counts. Exactly the same here and then here, and then it's cool. Okay, now this one I'm going to change a little bit. So, this I'm doing this isolation because this part is really not easy. Okay, so I'm going to do here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so instead of doing this, okay. I'm going to change a little bit and I'm going to do it now really with the orientation. So, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that I have this, I'm going to just add with a tap. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. So I add a twist and instead of doing slowly, I'm going to accelerate to, to cancel my counts, okay? To cancel my change. So, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. Yes, you have it. If you don't, don't forget to rewind this YouTube, this, this video, sorry. And then I'm going to start from the top. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, and two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have it now. Last changes, okay? You remember I have here a knee, so the knee is going to become a scissors, okay? And then I'm going to change a little bit instead of doing here step go change, I'm going on the side, okay? So I have a little bit more of orientation and higher altitude. So, on the top, with the changes. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Four, five, and six, seven, eight. Yes! Now we have it all. 
The last part, I really wanted to do it on the last because the last part is the most difficult part. Here you have two stones. Okay? So this one, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it with a turn that I have a baby mambo, and then here a turn. And then I'm going to add here to complete my canvas. So let's do it together. It counts. Watch carefully the uh, leg and the footwork because this one is a little bit tricky. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, three, four, six, seven, eight, and one, two, four, five, seven, eight. So, why is this tricky one? Because here I have this and then I lose my visibility of my step, then I turn, I need to put my leg and, um, uh, another time on the step, okay? So this one is really tricky, so watch carefully. One more time, so just, just this part, just this first part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you continue, okay? Now, so the last option, the really, the really, the really, the last, it's really a great variation. You need to accelerate and then you need to cancel your acceleration with a twist. Okay? Let's go. Surprise, surprise. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, so here I did it in a turn, then I accelerated, twist, and then scissors. Okay, so this one is really difficult because of this, because of this acceleration and the twist. So I really want to do this on the last resort because it's the next level class. I want to, I want my students to go further with this kind of technique, this kind of speed. From the top, with the counts, a little bit faster. So, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, five, six, seven, eight, and two, three, five, six, seven, eight, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you have it, okay? Don't forget, if you didn't understand all the things, don't forget to rewind this video. If you like this video, don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much. The community of Freestyle Junkies is becoming more and more bigger. Bigger than ever. So thank you for your support. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for following this YouTube channel. And thank you for sharing this video. I will see you tomorrow with a new video, new class. To, uh, always much surprises. Thank you very much, Mr. Junkies. I will see you soon. Bye bye.